I wish I, I knew sooner that a disappointment was just uh, an obstacle. I've had is the way I took disappointments I think mm -hmm. um, because again it slowed me down for a long time um, and I wish I, I knew sooner that a disappointment was just a, an obstacle and a challenge and it has a way I just need to strategize mm -hmm. and partner up because they can't strategize and do everything by itself partnering up with other people who can strategize and care who have stake in your business somehow. Usually there's a mother, a sister, you know, usually a relative or a friend, boyfriend, you know, relationship. But they have a stake because that's the only people who perspective could should impact. <laughs> um mm. yeah. Working through my disappointment, working through how I dealt with it, disappearing. Like if I get blank for something that I really wanted, I would disappear for like two weeks and just yeah. feel sorry for myself. And that's wasting my time and energy. My mom used to say, you're wasting time feeling disappointed, you could be coming up with 10 new ideas. You could, yes? Yeah. I'm going to you, and I'm like, yeah, you know about ideas, but you know about, mm. you know? <laughs> <laughs> so resigned and committed to, to that feeling of disappointment, yeah. that the possibility for all kinds of other things could pop up, but I didn't allow it, you know what I mean? I didn't mm -hmm. allow my mind to, to hold it, to be free of it. Ooh, um, no, I... I really get disappointed because of my perspective, I think. Not that reality doesn't disappoint me. Because shit don't go my way all the time. <laughs> or like it's a thing. Yeah. <laughs> um, but learn how to glide through and being the same passionate and wonderful and open-minded and wanting to do the work from a core perspective mm -hmm. with $5 yeah. in my bank account, just the same as having $50,000 in my bank account having that same kind of zeal.